Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Fujifilm X-T4. So I got my hands on this camera for about a week and I'm actually using it right now to film this video uh, for a reason, which we'll get to in a little bit. But I wanted to cover my first impressions. So if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I used to own an X-T3 that I loved, but I sold to fund my obsession with Canon's RF glass. And if you're new to this channel, I am a Canon EOS R shooter and I am in love with Canon's new lenses. They're just flat out amazing. So the Fujifilm X-T4, I wanna cover a few things, right? I wanna cover kind of uh, image quality, the new features, and autofocusing. So image quality. If you shot with an X-T3, if you shot with an X-Pro3 or X-Pro2, uh, you're pretty familiar with it. Like APS-C size sensor, Fuji color science. I love the files, I love the colors. So. Uh, with my regular preset that I use on all my wedding work, I actually have to bump up the saturation and vibrancy just a bit on my Canon files to get the look that I want. And with the Fuji files, I find myself actually doing the opposite. I have to bump it down because the, the Fuji color science is just punchier, more vivid, and overall, I personally like it a lot. And image quality is phenomenal for an APS-C size sensor. As a matter of fact, if you use some of their faster lenses, like their 56 1.2, or even some of their 1.4 lenses, right? I think you would be happy with the images you'd get out of this camera. So overall, like, I like the Fuji color signs. I like the Fuji image quality. So the X-T4 is no different from previous Fuji cameras. Now, as far as the new features, so the camera is a little beefier, um, not by much, but they had to make room for a new battery, uh, which is overall pretty impressive. So uh, the X-T3, I used to actually carry three batteries with me because that thing just chewed through battery power. And I never felt confident leaving with a camera and just one battery, which is not necessarily a good thing to do, right? Always have to think about like, do I have extras on me? And the X-T4 fixed that. So I've used one battery and it hasn't died on me. And it never has gone down to the point where I'm worried it's gonna die on me. So overall, like that's a huge improvement in my opinion, uh, because they also added IBIS and uh, I started using this camera once the new firmware came out, so perfect timing. And the IBIS is pretty darn awesome. As a matter of fact, let me play some B-roll I shot with my wife the other day. What did you think? That was all handheld, no gimbals, 4K, 60, slow down. And yeah, you can use the IBIS handheld and get silky smooth shots, especially if you're slowing it down because that reduces some of the jitters. And wow, right? It looks really, really good. The IBIS is a huge kind of feature to gain uh, along with that improved battery life because again, you don't have to worry about kind of sacrificing one for the other. And Fuji also added a flippy screen, which I'm seeing right there. I have my Atomos right here. Overall, like if you wanna use it for vlogging, you can now because you have that flippy screen. Which leads me to my third kind of thing I wanted to cover in my first impressions is autofocusing. So, so far right now in this video, the camera's done a phenomenal job keeping my face in focus, which is actually a little impressive because I've struggled so much with this camera to maintain focus. It is super jumpy. And at first I thought I was doing something wrong and I was going through every single setting. I thought it was my lens. I thought it was something I was doing. And then Philip Bloom released a video last week that kind of showcases some of like the jumpiness that this camera has right now in video for autofocusing. And as a matter of fact, also pictures, but we'll get that in a second. So the, the camera just tends to continuously like hunt for focus, right? Uh, it'll find a face and then it'll focus on the background or it'll just focus on random things. It's consistently kind of just twitching. Um, now it's different with every Fuji lens. Uh, I only use like the Fuji Cron lineup of lenses this past week, which is the 16 f 2.8, the 35 f 2, and the 50 f 2. And those are the newer focusing motors. So they sh technically should be fine, but the camera has been very jumpy. And I think the good thing here is, I don't think it's the hardware, it's definitely the software. So Fuji's known to release massive firmware updates and Fuji's known to improve their cameras tremendously with firmware. So the autofocusing right now just has not been rock solid. Uh, even in photos, it's interesting because like, actually I'll show you some pictures I took of my wife where she's not even moving, I'm not moving, and the camera just kind of 
goes in and out of focus and I have never experienced that with a Sony or a Canon. And as a matter of fact, I don't remember my X-T3 doing this either. So I'm dead set that these issues are firmware based, not necessarily hardware based and Fuji can fix them. But it's been just very interesting kind of seeing how many photos I've been missing focus on and during video, like how much it jumped. So right now that's kind of my only con, I would say, I think on the bright side, firmware updates, Fuji does them. It's probably gonna come, uh, but definitely an issue I noticed uh, taking video and photos with the X-T4. Overall, like I think this camera is just the best APS-C sensor camera in the market. Uh, it kind of gives you everything you can ask for, right? Um, dual SD card slots, IBIS, 4K60, uh, amazing files, right? And an incredible line of Fuji lenses. So like this is the ultimate kit if you wanna go with an APS-C type body, uh, a body that I've enjoyed using because I can literally fit a camera and three lenses in a super tiny Peak Design bag. And that's just versatility at its finest. But overall guys, that's my first impressions of the Fuji X-T4. What did you think of the B-roll footage? What do you think of the photos I kind of played throughout the video? Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you've had any of these autofocusing issues and if it's something maybe I'm doing wrong uh, that I can kind of fix or tweak. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But as always guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one where I'll be comparing Lightroom versus Capture One with Fuji Files. Stay tuned. Have a good one, guys. Peace.